morning, amazing Infinity family. I'm back here again with my next fortnight message. And uh, in last 11 years, almost 11 years of my journey in this business, you know, I want to talk something which is very, very important, which I learned in last 11 years actually, right? Okay. Uh, you know, this business in since beginning actually during the welcome also, we always talk about this is all about relationship, right? This business is all about relationship and which people do not understand in the beginning, but later, okay, when, when more and more people start working together, then they understand how important it is to maintain good relationship with uplines, downlines, cross lines, everywhere actually, right? Because this is something which if does not go well, okay? And most of the cases, it does not go well because when there are so many people working, obviously there'll be difference of opinions, there'll be conflicts, there'll be difference of style, there are perceptions, um, there are confusions, a lot of things will happen, right? And this happens in the family as well, right? So same thing happened here and we are working with so many people, okay? So, so this is bound to happen. But you guys have to understand that if we don't manage it well and if we don't change the way we operate in our own head actually, right? We will not be able to, you know, do this business with peace. And most of the reason because of this, you know, most of the time because of this reason, people create that kirkir in their head there is a conflict in their head regarding someone, regarding some issue, regarding something and because of which they get defocused and most of the time because that vibration inside them become bad actually or, or they, 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 they have a kirkir in their head even if they don't speak about it but still there is some issue in their head which stop them to grow and, and they only have to sort out that, right? So, you know, so you guys have to understand first that we are working with different people, right? Now, different people means different mindset, different abilities, different strengths, different weaknesses, different style, different way of operating and different way of expressing, right? So we have to understand that everyone will not operate the same way you expect them to operate or you want them to operate actually, right? Okay, so we have to understand that we have to stop that noise in our head which actually get created because of small little issues regarding other people, right? Be it upline, be it downline, be it crossline, be it anybody actually, right? And it's bound to happen, right? Because sometimes, you know, actually, no one is perfect in this world, right? Okay, so neither your uplines are perfect, nor your downlines are perfect, nor you are perfect, right? Same way, you no, know, I am not perfect, my downlines are not perfect, my uplines are not perfect, nobody's perfect, right? But the issue start when you start thinking that why can't they be perfect actually, right? Okay. And when things start creating an issue in your head, most of the time people go and break the cardinal rule and they start talking to the down, negative down or cross actually, right? That is the first rule. If you do this, your issue will not get sorted. In fact, it will get fueled by other people's opinion, perception as well. And that will never get sorted. It will increase, you know, the intensity of that issue will increase in your head, right? Okay. So, so the number one rule which I learned after many years and started applying these days actually is that, you know, if I have an issue with someone, I will go and express. It may not get sorted immediately, but I will go and express at least that person will be knowing about that issue, right? I will not keep it in my head. I will not think, okay, um, it's okay if the person want to be like that. Okay, let him be like that. See, understand, if it is creating a, a negative energy in me, even if it is 1% negative energy, it is my job to take it out. And when you express, even if nothing changes, by that doing that, expressing that actually, right? I am doing my job, right? I am throwing that negative energy out of my body, okay? And I operate in a most positive way if I keep expressing that actually, right? And while expressing also, we need to understand that we should not express our disconnect with a lot of anger. It has to be just, just an expression actually, right? It's a feeling. You have to tell that person that, look, this is my feeling. I'm telling I may be right or wrong, right? My intention is just to let you know, right? Okay. And you can be right, you can be wrong. And, and if somebody is giving you a feedback and somebody is venting out in front of you, okay, the rule is you should not try to justify, right? It's a feeling. That feeling needed to be taken care in a long run. It will take time. It will take time to get things back in place. 
but most important is express to the right person express is to the individual itself right don't go out and tell other up lines don't go out and tell other down lines or cross lines or anywhere actually right you know if you have if you have some feeling with someone go and express okay because that strengthens the relationship right okay second thing is that okay you know whenever you have some disconnect with someone or whenever you are pissed with someone whenever you are you are upset with someone right first of all you need to ask one question to to yourself right do you think the intent of that person is wrong when it comes to you okay if the intent is not wrong that means everything is okay right are you, are you getting me if the intent is not wrong maybe the style maybe the the way that person operate maybe maybe the issue that the, that person is handling uh, issue with some certain way you may not be liking it right correct but if the intent is right first of all okay and you know you have to first tell yourself the intent cannot be wrong right okay if the intent is right okay this can be sorted number two thing is that you have to ask yourself do you you know do you really have something positive about that person in your mind you know because i'm sure everyone is having their own strengths and weaknesses right nobody is perfect right okay whether it is a downline or up upline right if you think that person is having some strength positivity something good which makes you feel good about it right okay just remember those things and feel blessed about it first right for example there are downlines we don't take don't do things properly right but if if you are able to find out one or two things good in them right first thank god that you got somebody who's having one or two things good right yes we have to work upon something which is a weakness right and it will take time right we will keep expressing nicely and gently and confront whenever required okay but if you don't if you only keep thinking about the weaknesses and you don't think about the strength and the good points it will only and only accumulate a negative energy inside you regarding that person and that energy will resonate with that person and and your relationship you will not even know why it is getting spoiled in your own head in that person's head also right okay so most important thing is always find out good things in people and yes it is okay to have weaknesses in them which we have to work upon along with them okay in a long run and that person will change you will change right but if you don't focus on the weak uh, on the strengths right or a positive side your energy will not be good and if your energy is not good neither you will be able to focus properly on your work nor you will be able to build a good relationship with that person and if the relationship is not good with your downlines with your uplines then the organization will get split eventually and if the organization gets split believe me it will not grow the way it can grow when it is united actually right okay so understand and obviously when you think about the person's uh, areas of improvement or weaknesses which makes you feel upset about that person right as i said think about their strength think about their positivity think about the what you can learn from them or you know whether it is downline or upline actually right okay and other than that also think about am i perfect the way i operate with okay if you the answer if the answer is no nobody is perfect right so obviously the answer will be no right okay so if you are not perfect okay then how can you expect other person to be perfect right correct so understand and this and ex keep expressing if you don't express nicely that person will never get to know the areas of improvement right whether it is upline or downline right or whether it is a improvement or it is a way of dealing with people or the style or whatever it is right okay also learn to accept different people who operate in a different way as far as they are accountable as far as they are good from heart as far as their intent are always good actually right okay learn to accept the differences right okay because if you don't learn that when you when when you accept the differences that time it should not be oh i accepted now i can't do anything about it i'll live with it right 
that is again a negative thought right you are you are you know it's like a negative energy inside you right okay just always think about is that person adding some value in your business or organization or has ever added in past actually right if that person has added in past which means that person can add same value in future also right okay so always divert your mind towards the positivity of that person right which will actually correct your energy inside which will remove the negative energy and create a positivity and when and when you want to you know completely detox your negative energy that is a time to go and tell that person right your job is just to tell right and you have to vent it out right that's it finish most of the time people go out and vent it in front of a wrong person actually right you know and one more important rule is if i which which i adapted from a very long time actually right if i hear something about someone okay i don't get influenced by that person no matter how close that person is right you know for example just an example if i get some opinion which is coming from me coming to me actually from maybe my upline or my spouse or anybody actually right maybe my upline which is vp dev or maybe my spouse which is vp kavita okay i don't get influenced suppose if if they have some opinion about somebody right that's their experience with that person right i will listen from here and take out from here actually right i will not make their opinion my experience with that person unless i have the same experience with that person i will never ever express to that person based on others opinion actually right correct because most of the time people get influenced by others experience maybe others are also right right it is their experience but if it is not my experience with that person what i will do is i will listen and remove it from my head actually right okay unless i will not get the same experience with that person i will not confront that person i will not tell that person and believe me i will not judge, judge that person also right okay so guys relationship is the most important thing right and to build the relationship there are only two most important things right so number one is that i always find reasons to feel blessed to have those people in my life which means positive aspects of those people actually right yes there are shortcomings there are weaknesses which needed to be changed right okay which needed to be improved but i always think what is positive and why i am blessed to have these people in my life right number 2 is basically always express at the right time without too much of delay okay the moment you feel that it is creating a negative energy inside me okay as a priority reach out to that person and express don't procrastinate there is nothing else which is more important than this actually right because it is affecting you it is not affecting that person it is affecting you it is accumulating a negative energy inside you and you will not even get to know how it is affecting your results actually right okay express and one more thing through which you can build a strong relationship working with those people on the ground actually right and when you are working on the ground with them that means you are spending a lot of time with them right spending a lot of time doing together few activities few trainings lot of things actually right and if that is also not possible okay then at least spending good amount of time periodically actually with no agenda okay if you go to them with an agenda okay probably you will discuss the agenda and you will disperse actually right with no agenda and when you sit with no agenda a lot of things you learn about each other and express to each other right and that helps in a long run to build that kind of a relationship right okay so guys this business is all about relationship right okay because yes in the beginning it's all about having more people in the team but once you have more and more people in the team even if it becomes 10 20 30 people in the team as as small as 10 20 30 also right then also this aspect plays such important role right that the togetherness in those 20 30 people can make it to 300 3000 30000 300000 also right 
okay and when i remember our initial journey this is the only thing which brought us till here actually where we are today right because in the beginning when i remember 2009 when we were 20 30 people we were so tight we were so close right all the we ambassadors today right okay whether it is evi pikavita we bisharfun bijoy vivek whether it was you know gautam digvijay aditya valla everyone actually amit soni all these people okay amit and aditya valla and all those people still came later on but other people especially me kavita sharfun bijoy and vivek right no all these people in fact many people who are not there today in the business also till date we are very tight with everyone right okay so guys this these are the things which are the most important thing right so understand and also one more thing your intent your intent always pays back to you right because if your intent is selfish if your intent is not selfless if your intent is selfish and things which you are doing are only for your benefit right believe me people can smell it right no matter whether you wish them on birthdays you wish them on anniversaries you go out and gift it to them it will not work in a long run right only thing which will work on a long run is the intent the selfless intent actually right okay and basically you know uh, when you when your intention is very very clear and you know that in a long run i want those people to help okay you want to help those people to grow and ultimately that they, they you know their subconscious mind can read your subconscious mind and that automatically creates a positivity and your relationship goes on for ever actually right okay so guys these few things has helped me i've learned this in last 10 11 years i was also not perfect slowly and steadily we learned but and still learning actually you know but believe me relationship your relationships are the biggest asset in your life actually right not just in this business okay so guys work on your relationships be expressive don't judge people find out positive things in them work on the weaknesses express vent out your negativity nicely not with a, with with the anger right okay and have a clear and good intent for them actually right okay work with them don't be selfish and you will see the relationship will flourish and that relationship will flourish not just your business but your life also and even if people don't stay in the business few people don't stay in the business then also these people will be there forever for your life actually right thank you very much love you and i'll see you in next fortnight thank you